Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 115, Actuals to Budget, A Simple Model, Best Practices. Well, in theory, anytime you use Quantrix, it's really a best practice. It's far superior than that lesser program, also known as Excel. Uh, use Quantrix, it's a best practice. Anyway, in episode 114, I showed you how to create a very simple model in answer to Brad's question about how I can track uh, actuals to budget, where I went ahead and I created this new matrix, and I had a salesperson in here with months, and then I did a couple of using as formulas to go ahead and pull in the budget, and then I created this actuals matrix. Well, I mentioned in that one that I wanted to show you a best practice of really how I, I typically set up this type of model. So let me go ahead and just uh, delete uh, actuals and and that other matrix three where my calculations were going. And let's say I have here just a, a basic model of my unit's budget. Really a best practice is when I go ahead and create uh, something that's dependent upon this data, what I like to do is I like to actually uh, use a data link and get uh, automatic automatically created categories with a data link. So I, what I mean by that is I would go to data link, create data link, uh, two-dimensional matrix. I think you can watch a podcast, maybe 111 and 112, where I talk about this and show these, this functionality. But my source is units budget, and column really is where I want to be pulling the items from. And then I go ahead and click next, and I want this to be multidimensional. Yeah, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see on my laptop. And what I want is I want salesperson to be a category and I want uh, month to be a category. I could sort these if I wanted. I don't want blank cells. And I'm going to click next. And I think if I make this a little bigger, I want to remove previously imported. And what happens here is now I have a, a new a matrix that is uh, dependent or sourced from uh, this unit's budget matrix here. So if I were to add another salesperson here, and let's say it was Arnie, and let's say January, Arnie had a budget of 1,000 units, okay? What would happen, what happened in the version I showed you in the last episode of 113, I would then need to go in here and add Arnie, right? Now this, not very cumbersome when I only have a couple salespeople, but when I have a boatload of salespeople or a boatload of items within my, my category of salesperson, then it becomes much more complex and cumbersome. So a best practice is just to tie it to a data link, and I see that it's tied to a data link with this little arrow. And what I do is when I go ahead and I update that data link, I see Arnie in here automatically. Okay. So again, uh, I would then uh, add another category. I would call it type. I'd call this actuals. I go uh, uh, or and I go budget here, I guess, and then I would add another one. I would call it metric. I call it sales or units, rather. All right, and then what I would say is budget units is equal to the sum of units up here. Again, my formulas that I was using before, using uh, month as month and. Uh, Salesperson, that guy as this salesperson category. Items to categories is always what you do with using as is. And then you can see that I'd have Arnie in here of a thousand units, and the rest of these should be shaking out properly. Again, uh, best practice go ahead and tie these categories. So, salesperson, tie that category back to salesperson here within the source matrix. That way it updates throughout the model for you automatically. You don't have to go ahead and manually input it. Also, I have that for month. It's also automatic. Uh, I also do this with years generally. Whenever I have years within my data set, I want to have years be a category. I always tie it back to the source matrix. Anyway, again, if I were to have uh, actuals in here, uh, just a little two-dimensional matrix. I have one here, and I had salesperson, salesperson, and I have month, and I have units, right? And let's say it was Arnie. And let's say it was for January, and let's say it was for 800 units. Okay, I would say that actuals units is equal to the sum of uh, this guy. And let me see if I can't make that just a hair bigger for us here. 
uh, using items the category month as month here and salesperson as salesperson here and then I would see units of 800 here with Arnie if I go ahead and move that I would see that uh, I go ahead and move that here I see year over year actuals the budget sale on budget on top I can just go ahead and move it down with control down arrow budget over actuals anyway that's how I do it I uh, hope that maybe helps you with a best practice I always go back to the data source if you're going to be using you know some some categories that relate back to the the items within the, the raw data anyway I hope you find that useful if you have any questions about Quantrix I hope that you reach out to me at Quantrix authority at gmail.com I absolutely love Quantrix I really do uh, I want to help you so I want to make you a Quantrix master so please join me again for another episode of Quantrix authority with Rich Lopez